Hey friends, let us learn how to plot these graphs. Y equals x mod x, y equals x times floor of x and x times ceiling of x. Let us first look at y equals x mod x. What is mod x? Mod x is, it will give absolute value of x. For example, mod of minus 2.1 is equal to 2.1. Mod of 2.1 is also equal to 2.1. We know this, right? So, we know mod x equal to x, mod x equal to x, when x is greater than 0. Mod x equal to minus x when x is less than 0. When x is greater than or equal to 0, minus x when x is less than 0. Right. For example, if x is minus 2, then mod x is minus of minus 2, which is plus 2. Right. So, this graph we can split into two parts. One is when x greater than 0. Let's assume when x greater than 0, then mod x equal to x. So, this graph will become x squared when x greater than or equal to 0. Similarly, when x is less than or equal to 0, then this becomes x into minus x. So, it becomes minus x square when x is less than 0. Okay. So, basically, this graph is actually combination of x square when x greater than or equal to 0 and minus x square when x less than 0. Right. That is nothing but we know y equal to x square. y equal to x square is like this. Right. So, when it is positive, we can take this part. Right. What is minus x square? Minus x square is this graph which is reversed like this. It is a mirror image with respect to x axis. Now, when x is less than 0, we have to take minus x square. That is, that is this one. So, basically our graph is something like this. This part. For x greater than 0, that is this part. And for x less than 0, that is this part. So, we have in our graph in q1 and q3. Okay, so the graph will look something like this. Okay, when x equals 1, y equals c equals 1, when x equals 2, y equals 4, because this is x square graph. Right, so as long as x is greater than 0, it will, become like, it will look like this, and x is less than 0, it will look like this. Okay, this graph is y equal to x square. And so, this part, we have to invert it when x is less than 0, right? So, the graph that we are looking at is this graph, right, guys? Very easy. Next one, y equals to x into floor of x. What is floor of x? We know floor of x. Floor of, let's say, we have some number like 2.1. What is this? This is equal to 2. Floor of 2, which is also equal to 2. Okay, right. What is floor? Any number which is which is an integer. It will reduce that to the nearest integer, which is lesser than this. Okay, that is called floor. Basically, it will take the floor. It will leave the other part. Okay, two point nine is also is also two. Floor of two point nine is also two. Two point nine nine is also two. But floor of three is actually three. Okay, it will give the integer part. Now. What does that mean? Floor of x. Floor of x when x is 0 less than or equal to x less than 1. Then what is x? What is floor of x? Floor of x is 0. Floor of x is 0. Similarly, when 1 less than or equal to x less than 2, then floor of x is 1. Okay, floor of x is 1. Okay, so then when 0 less than or equal to x less than 1. Right, this floor of x, this part will become 0 and this is whatever, it doesn't matter. So, what is our graph then? This is equal to graph is 0, y equals 0. Here what it is? This equals x times this one. So, it is x. Similarly, 2 less than or equal to x less than 3. The floor of x is 3. So, what is x floor of x? Then it will become, sorry, the floor of this is 2. Okay, what is x floor x? x floor x will become 2x. Similarly, for 3 to 4, it will be 3x. For 4 to 5, it will be 5x. Basically, this graph is 0x, 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, likewise. Okay, 4x, 5x, likewise. 
So what does that mean? That means the graph will look something like this. Okay. When x lies between 0 to 1. Okay. x into floor x. x floor x is actually equal to 0. That is this part. When x is here, 1 is not included here. Here, x is less than or equal to less than 1, but greater than or equal to 0. Here, x is less than 2, but greater than or equal to 1. In that case, what is this function? Floor of, floor of x is 1 and we have x floor of x. That means the graph is equal to x, y equal to x between this one. Here, y equals 2x. Okay. Similarly, when x is between minus 1 to 0, less than 0, but less than or equal to minus 1. So, this becomes minus x, right? Floor is minus 1 into x. This becomes minus 2x. So, this graph is actually combination of straight lines. x times floor x is actually combination of straight lines. What are those straight lines? Those are 0, x, 2x, 3x, 4x, whatever, whatever. This is 0, this is x, this is 2x, then next one is 3x, then 4x likewise. Similarly, left hand side, this is minus x, minus 2x, minus 3x, minus 4x likewise. Okay, so and same similar logic we can give for x times ceiling x. What is ceiling x? Ceiling x is this is the integer which is greater than x. Okay, smallest integer which is greater than x. For example, if it is 2.9, then it will be 3. Ceiling of 2.9 is 3. Ceiling of 2.1 is also 3. But ceiling of 2 is actually 2. Okay, so what does that mean? Between 0 to 1, x is greater than 0. Sorry, x is greater than 0, but less than or equal to 1. Then that means ceiling of x is ceiling of x is equal to 1. Okay, so then x into ceiling x will become x. Okay, here we are including 1, but excluding 0. Similarly, between 1 and 2, that means x is greater than 1, but less than or equal to 2. So, then that means it is the ceiling of x is 2. So, x ceiling x will be 2x. Okay, this is x. Similarly, 3x above, likewise. Now, if you look at the reverse, reverse, ceiling of x when x is between minus 1 to 0, minus 1 to 0, then that will be equal to 0. So, this part will be 0 into x, which is 0. This part, when x is between minus 2 to 1. Okay. Ceiling of x is minus 1. Right. So, x into x into minus 1. This is minus x. So, this becomes minus x. Similarly, this becomes minus 2x. Right. Similarly, minus 3x. This graph and this graph are actually very related. You can use the same logic. When x is less than 0, then ceiling of x uh, between minus 1 and 0 is 0. So, this becomes 0 till when x is between minus 1 to 0. When x is between minus 2 to minus 1, ceiling of x is minus 1. So, x into ceiling of x is minus x. So, this is the graph of minus x when x is between minus 2 to minus 1. Similarly, between minus 3 to 2, it will be minus 2x. Between minus 4 to minus 3, it will be minus 3x, likewise. So, this graph will keep happening like this. It will keep becoming more and more vertical. So this graph also, this graph also, the slope will keep on increasing as x increases. Slope will keep on increasing. Here the slope is 1, 
here the slope is 2, next slope is 3, next 4, likewise. Right. So, the, this part will keep becoming more and more straighter on both left side and right side. Right, guys? Thank you.